Marhaban, ahlan wa sahlan bikum. In this lesson, we're going to learn a little bit uh, about word patterns, representation of word patterns in Arabic. Please open page uh, 8 for me. Um, it is essential, though, to remember that many Arabic words originate from three root letters or we call it also radical letters and in Arabic is known as huruful bina. This system is so important and beneficial because once we know that we have access to hundreds of vocabulary by following this pattern, these three root letters. Let me illustrate it for you. Now, for instance, in English, you have to learn a book, a desk, a writer, a library, writing. You learn them individually, and even though there is a theme running through them, but they are different words, really, unlike in Arabic. In Arabic, all these meanings would have, would contain uh, three root letters. So that makes it easy for us to rec recognize the shape and shade of the meanings running through the root letters. For instance, kataba in Arabic is kaf, ta, and ba is he wrote. Now, once you know that a kataba, this ka and ta and ba, it has some kind of connection with writing. Something has writing attached to it in some way. For instance, a book is kitab. A book, kitab. And a desk, maktab. A writer, katib. And a library, maktab. Writing, Kitab. So all these five words, you can see the root letter kav, ta, and ba. The same order, there is a system to add something in the beginning or the middle to change the shade of the original meaning. But it still will have connection with the original theme. So hence you will see this kata, but the same order they will be, they will never change. There will be addition, the beginning, the middle, whatever, the end, but those letters, three root letters, they will still follow the same, the same order. So you have kaf and ta and ba, kaf, ta and ba, kaf, ta and ba, ka, ta, ba, and kaf, ta and ba. So later on, you will learn the system, what to add at the beginning, what to add in the middle, and what kind of a shade of meaning that would uh, become. So th that, that's coming. Uh, another example for you, here you have a key, uh, open, uh, a can opener, and al-fatiha, that is the opening of the, the, uh, the, the holy book of Al-Quran Al-Karim. In Arabic, you would that's all these meanings will contain this fa and ta and ha. That's mean he opened here miftah. That's a key. Obviously, has connection with to open. And you have maftuh opened. Uh, you have fatah a uh, uh, can opener and the al fatah, which is the opening of the the uh, Quran al Karim, the holy book of the Quran al Karim. So. This is, it does give you idea of how important it is to under the, understand the system of the root letters. So, we're going to go through that, uh, for, that's on page 8 and page 9, then we move to the verb conjugation. Now, having just uh, learned the, uh, the word pattern in Arabic, and please do the exercise number one and exercise two for me on page eight. Then read the explanation that I gave on page nine to confirm your understanding of uh, representation of word patterns in Arabic. Now we're going to move to page 10 to uh, do or to uh, understand the conjugation verb conjugation but what is verb conjugation a conjugated verb is the verb 
which has been manipulated and changed to show the person we're speaking to or about and how many people that we're speaking to or about, whether it's one or two or three or more, as well as the gender of the people that we are talking to or we are talking about. Also to show the tense, which means is it past tense, action that has finished and gone, or present tense, or something which is in progress or is going to change or is going to happen later. All that is called conjugation. So it is very important and we'll be following the patterns of the uh, root letters we will see what are the changes we are making to the root letters to give us a different shade of the meaning of a particular verb. Let's start with the third person, meaning we are talking about people, like a he did, they did, and that's what we are going to do right now. Now, let me explain that uh, uh, first of all, we have here, so uh, the kataba. Kataba means he wrote. Usually in Arabic, uh, the, 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 the verb conjugation starts from he did, whatever the action may be. He ran, uh, he, 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 he ate, he, he drank, uh, he slept, he went, he returned, and so on. So in this case, we are going to take the kataba as our uh, template. Uh, so we have kataba. He wrote. Now, that's your root letter now. So, kataba. That, those three letters will not change in terms of the order. We may have something before or after and so on. Let's see. But in the past tense, all the changes or any amendments will happen at the end uh, with or after the third root letter. Now, he wrote. How do you say she wrote? So she wrote, you leave the kataba as it is, you just add this ta with sukun. So kataba becomes katabat, katabat. When you do that to any verb, if I give you any verb in form of he did, uh, you just make that change, change, you change, you add this t to it, automatically become she did. Now, for instance, if I give you the verb, um, let's say, Fahima, he understood. So we have Fahima. That's mean he understood. If you want to say she understood, all you have to do is leave all these alone. Look at the last letter as we did here. Just add this t, becomes Fahima. T. She understood. So you can see how important and useful the understanding of conjugation A. So if we say Fahimat, uh, now that becomes now she understood. So the pattern of he and she has been established now in terms of the past tense verb. Right. So let's let, let's move now to the next one. We have now kataba. Kataba means they. In this case, we means two male two men two boys wrote kataba this alif we call it alif alif of its name alif of its name so that alif is the dual alif alif of its name so that alif is telling us there are two people involved here kataba kataba now for they meaning two women or two girls wrote we will say katabata now this ta is the same as this ta to show us it's, a fe it's female so and we have the same alif which is your alif of its name that means duo alif katabata here become fahimata so that's how it's going to be let me just say uh, rub that uh, fahimata for instance now if i give you another verb different one like uh, he sat jalasa for instance ja la and then sa jalasa he sat 
automatically if you want to say she sat what would you say you will say jala sat you just add that ta jala sat if you want to say they meaning two men sat you just add this alif you say jala sa if you want to say two women sat you say jala sa and then you add this ta jala sa ta right now let's move now to uh plural Plural in Arabic starts from three, not from two. Hence, we have the duo. You have a singular, which is your al-mufrad, and then you have your duo, which is muthanna, and of course you have mudakkar, which is male, and muannath, female, or feminine, masculine and feminine. Now, three on bowl. If you want to say katabu, so katabu means they meaning three or more men, three or more uh, boys. Katabu wrote. Let's look at these changes we are making to this. Now, this is the first time we are actually changing the vowel on the last root letter. Here is a fatha, here is fatha, this fatha is fatha. So, the first time now we are amending the original uh, uh, vowel on the third root letter is when we say they meaning three or more men did something in this case wrote so we are changing into u and extending it with wow and adding this alif uh, by convention that's alif is doing nothing there uh, there's no sound just say kata boo so you are extending the u by using the wow they wrote that is for uh, male or female, uh, male uh, plural. So Jalasa becomes Jalasu, and Fahima becomes Fahimu. As for the uh, feminine, three or more women, always in the past tense, the last root letter will carry Sukun, as you can see here, will carry Sukun, and then you add this Nonu Niswa. The feminine plural known. Yeah, you say katab, remember the sukun and then na. So if you understand the amendment we are making it becomes much easier for you to be able to manipulate the original verb and let it change the shade of its meaning rather than just trying to learn the table. The table you will forget it, but try to understand the principle behind it. So I'll give you another, uh, uh, the, the verb, the one we used before. So for instance, we say, um, um, Dakhala, for instance, he entered. Dakhala, he entered. Now, automatically, if I block this one, you won't say, okay, Dakhala. How do I say, she entered? Just remember, t, Dakhala, t. That's it. Now, how do I say, two men entered? You like Alif at the end, Daha La. How do I say two women entered? You retain the Ta and then you add the Alif with name, which is your uh, duo Alif, Daha La Ta. What about if I want to say they, meaning three men or more, entered? Remember the U ending, you say Daha Lu, and don't forget to write the alif at the end. If I want to say they entered, meaning three women or more, what shall I do? Remember, you need sukun, the, the last uh, uh, root letter, plus nonu niswa, which is your feminine plural, non. Dahel na. That is your, uh, uh, your understanding of uh, how to uh, cha make changes. To change the, me the, the the meaning or the shade of the meaning. So, kataba, kataba, katabu, katabat, katabata, katabna. Just remember those, you know, red, you know, letters for me, and that will help you to be able to take any verb in form of he did and turn into she did, they did, they did, they did three men, they did three women. That is your third person. We are speaking about people. 
that's a third person, and that's called lil ra'ibin or lil ra'ibat. So lil ra'ib wa lil ra'iban. Now, we're going to move now to do the uh, second person, meaning uh, we are speaking to people in front of us. Second person is the person that you are addressing. So I will say, you wrote sing single male, you wrote single female. Let's see what is going to happen. Now, I'm going to cut the corner and give you a key to be able to do that very easily. And so bear with me. Now, let's see. I'm sure then I will give you the, the, the whole picture later on. Now, this is your original uh, uh, root letters or radical letters, huruf bina. Now, we're going to do now lil mukhatab. A mukhatab means it's people that you are speaking to, you are addressing, people you are speaking to. Now, how do I say you male singular wrote from this? Now, all the second person, take this note first. Or the second person, whether I'm saying you singular male, you singular female, or you you two male, you two female, you lot, lot three or more male, you lot, a lot uh, um, female, or in all these six uh, second person, take this note. You, they, you have to put sukun on the last root letter. Sukun. So sukun across. So it becomes katab. So that's your sukun. It should be like this. Ka. Ka. So that is your last letter. You put sukun. So in all the second person, you have to put that sukun. Then just learn the following as your attachment. If you are speaking to a man, you just add for me. This is what you add. You just add ta. Once you add that ta, katab, at sukun, on the last root letter, jalas, any, any, any verb, like that. you put sukun, the last root letter, and then add the ta. So you have ta, katab, ta. If you are speaking to a single female, you add the same ta, but kesra. T ending. So I'm going to add that here. So that's your extension. That's your extension. So remember. So this is your ta. In this case, you just add the kesra. So this is extension coming from here. So you have T ending. Become katab and then T. You know you have to put sukun there. Katab T. Now let's say I'm speaking to two men or two women to be the same. What you do, remember, you need to put your sukun. So your sukun must be there. And let's, let's write what is happening. So this is extension, pretending the bias coming this way. Uh, you do this, that's the, like this one. Remember, you have your sukun. And then add this. You add two and then ma. So, katab to ma. So, this is your ba here. Katab, katab, and then add to ma. If you are speaking to two women, it's the same. Katab to ma. So, I'm going to put this one here. Again, this is your extension from ba, and you are adding to and then ma. Katab to ma. Katab to ma. Now, the last, uh, you have the other two. If you are speaking to a group of men, three or more, what you are, remember, you still add your sukun. Yeah? Your sukun still need to be there. Uh, let me just put that to make sure you remember that. That's sukun. Now, in, in the three, three male or three men, uh, you add the following. Tom. Tom, you have two and sukun. That's your sukun. Katab to katab tum. Now for female equivalent, three or more women, you are going to add uh, 
uh, tuna. So this is your sukun on the last and then tuna. Tuna ending. So basically, once you remember that the last root letter in all second person muhatab, they have sukun on them. All you need to remember as addition, as attached pronoun, your uh, domair mutasila, it will be ta tuma tum for the, the male side. Ta tuma tum ending. Ta for single male, tuma for duo, and tum ending. Remember that? Ta tuma tum. Sing it for me. It's like a tomato. <laughs> ta tuma tum. And then for female side, you say T tuma tuna, like a tuna. So the male side is like a tomato, and the, the female side is like a tuna. So ta tuma tum, T tuma tuna ending. Come on, ta tuma tum, T tuma tuna. So if I say for you, for instance, if I give you a verb and I say like a ja la sa. J um, jalasa. So jalasa. He sat. Jalasa. If I say conjugate that for me for the second person, all six, in your head, first of all, ah, I need to put sukun on the same. And then I will add this. So become jalas and then ta. Jalas tuma. Jalas tum. Jalas ti. Jalas tuma. Jalas tuna. Ta to my tone, T to my tuna. That's the easy way of learning it. So that's your second person done and dusted and understood, I'm sure. Now we're going to do the first person, meaning the speaker singular, the speaker dual, or the speaker plural. That's the first person. Let's do that as well. Right, that's what I like. Then we do get a quick understanding of your conjugation now in this in the first uh, person first person the same as you have in second person also you carry sukun and you add the following if you want to say i did it i wrote in this case uh whether male or female it is the same because the speaker in the, in the, in the verb in arabic no gender it's a gender neutral so you add, so let's say ka, ka, tab. Again, you will add your sukun as you did in all this, and then you add the ta, but in this case, not fatha, not kesra, you put tu ending. Katab tu. A woman will say the same thing, a man will say the same thing. Katab tu. I wrote. Now, if he, two of us, or millions of us, it's the same, so we have only two in this case. So two of us, million of us, say katabna. You add, you add your ka ta. So that's your ka ta, and then the same sukun, and then add na ending. Katab na. Your conju, your basic conjugation is done. Come on, learn this for me. Relax. And don't just re uh, uh, rely on the uh, memorization of the of the, um, the, the, the the table. Now understand where it's coming from. In the third person, retain original fatha fatha lo, you know, for the for the verb original verb. For the she, just at. For the two of them, you need alif. For male, you need alif for female as well. But plus ta for female, two female. In the Plural, u ending for men, u ending kata bu. And for female, for women, sukun at the last root letter, and then na. You know what I said about the second person, sukun across the board, and then learn the attached pronoun, which is for men, for male section, is ta tuma tum ending, and for female section, is the ti tuma Tuna. Ta tuma tum after the sukun. Ti tuma tuna. For the first person, I did sukun as well, the last root letter plus two. 
Katab 2. For we, whether two of us or millions of us, sukun at the last, on the last root letter, and then put your na. Here we are. Your basic conjugation for a simple uh, uh, your verb is done. If you understand this very well, all the other conjugation which is going to be coming in the future, all of them, they're based on this, and there may be a little bit of adjustment there, here and there, but this is the foundation. This must be understood, and this will give you a chance to start really, really using your verb and constructing sentences in Arabic. Now, the conjugation table is on page 10 and a full explanation breakdown of how it's composed uh, is on page 11. Uh, basically, this is what I've done for you on the board. If you look at the picture now, so you have your simple, pure sound, past tense, form one verb. As I, as, as I said before, this is the bedrock of... Uh, uh, how to understand verb conjugation in Arabic. So, the, 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 the is for you there, singular, that's a mufrat, and you have kataba, katabat, uh, he wrote, she wrote, that's a, your ta, to make it she, t, katabat. And then, dio, it is muthanna, el muthanna, uh, dio meaning two of them, because this section is third person, Lil Ra'ib or Lil Ra'ibin. So, Kataba, Katabat, Kataba. That's your alif of its name. That's your duo alif. Katabata, the same alif, plus the ta is your sukuns, uh, your, your ta of feminine. Because we cannot put sukun here because of the alif. That's why we change this sukun into fatha. Katabata. And the plural, Katabu, U ending. When you are talking about uh, the, the uh, men or boys uh, did something, three or more. Katabu, u ending. And for uh, female, the women, three or more, you say sukun on your original uh, verb, uh, letter, uh, the, your root letter, and then you add na. So this section is your second person. As you will see, you, they all have sukun on the last root letter. Sukun, 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 and sukun, sukun. Your addition, as mentioned, is ta, tuma, and then tum, and ti, tuma, and tunna. So you have kataba, katabat, katab tum, katab, uh, katab tuma, katab tuma, katab tum, katab tunna, and then I wrote. You same sukun as we have here, and then you add two, katab two, and katab na for we, doesn't matter whether two of us, or more, or plural more, three or more. Now, if you have any uh, question or you want further clarification, please leave your note below, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And ma'as-salama ila al-liqa fi amanillah.